Hello guys, welcome back. Lisa Haim, I'm a registered dietitian from The Well Necessities, and today I'm showing you my top, I don't know, seven, eight favorite skincare products of 2018. Going into 2019, losing my minds just a little bit, but in this skin care video, I'm gonna be showing to you guys what really worked for me this year. This year was a big year for me. I turned 30. Um, they say 30, flirty, and thriving, but really what happens is your skin just starts to age. So if you're not 30 yet, good things coming your way. Now, 30 is really fun. It's actually been a really great six months. I actually feel like a woman for the first time. Um, but one of the biggest things that I've noticed is a change in my skin. It was probably happening, obviously, up until 30, but when I turned 30, I just went ham on all the skincare products that I could learn and get my hands on. So as a result, I've spent a lot of money on products and I think that I can better help you choose what to buy based on my top products. So I'm not showing you everything that I bought, I'm just showing you my top products of the year. These are not all to be used in combination, but rather different things I've worked for, either different parts of your skin or to just use at different times not necessarily all together. All right, without further ado, let's jump in. So product number one is going to be Vintner's Daughter. This stuff is amazing. I'm pretty sure they still only have one product, but it's an active botanical serum. This stuff is like liquid gold. Um, it's really nice, actually. Uh, I've had this one actually since before 2018, I think 2017, and it's still going strong. I put a few drops on my hand and you squeeze it into your face like this. One of the biggest mistakes I made in my 20s, I guess, is being just so afraid of oils on my face, thinking that that's what causes breakouts. But in reality, that's not the case. And so you don't always wanna be drying out your skin like I did. Um, and just with my history of acne, I was afraid of oils. So I think my biggest mistake was not using this stuff more. So healthy oils, getting a good serum, doesn't necessarily have to be this one, but a good serum goes a long way in just keeping your skin really plump. Like a grape rather than a raisin, if you will. Okay, number two is this product from Acure. This is a really affordable brand, I found it. You can get it at Whole Foods, and it's actually a facial scrub. It's called Brilliant Brightening. It uses sea kelp um, to detoxify while lemon peel and French green clay cleanse without stripping away the natural moisture. And Madonna Lily brings out the brightness for this facial scrub. So guys, seriously, this is like seven or so dollars, I think. And I notice a brightening difference as soon as I use it. Evan, my boyfriend, has been using it too. And I'm just like, wow, your skin looks good. What's up, boy? And it's this stuff. So once or twice, maybe three times a week. Um, it's completely vegan and non-toxic, really good ingredients and love this stuff. Okay. Number, I think we're on three, is this Power Glow Peel from M61. Comes in a box with a bunch of peels. It's a one minute, one step ex fit exfoliating peel with vitamin K, bilberry, and chamomile. Stings a little bit when you put it on, but not in a bad way. And you really do feel radiant afterward. It deeply exfoliates, resurfaces, um, helps for skin tone, texture, clarity. Also helps um, for the appearance of spider veins, which I definitely have over here and here. I'm just wearing makeup because I just shot um, some stuff today. So this stuff I like not that often, once, twice a week, maybe max, it is strong. Okay, next is this stuff from Peter Thomas Roth. I got it at Sephora. This is a targeted spot brightener. So I've got these sunspots over here. That's one of my biggest and main concerns. Um, they're basically these dark spots that when I go in the sun become darker. So basically I don't go in the sun anymore, but the residual dark spots I'm always trying to uh, brighten so that I don't have to go in and put makeup on it. So this again, I got at Sephora. It is a 50 times more powerful than traditional vitamin C, which brightens to help reduce and brighten the look of dark spots up to 75% also with aloe to soothe. So when I'm noticing this little spot getting dark, I'll just, just in that one spot, put it. So I like this stuff. And just a reminder, the products that I am mentioning, I know that they're expensive, um, but I am totally only showing you the things that have worked and you don't need them all. Um, just pick and choose what works for you based on what 
bothers you or what's going on with your own skincare. And by the way, I'm no skincare expert, I'm a dietitian, just sharing what has worked for me. Um, okay, then this product was gifted to me, uh, Good Jeans by Sunday Riley. Not gonna lie, this stuff smells weird AF. Uh, it's got lactic acid in it. It says high potency purified grade lactic acid. But I think that's why it works so well. So it plumps up the skin, it smooth lines, and I notice a difference with this stuff the next day. So I'll use it before bed, maybe once or twice a week, um, but I will notice noticeably see a difference really, really quickly. So that's really cool, good for hyperpigmentation specifically. Again, smells really weird, so not your sexiest night cream. Okay, then this stuff, wow. And Samanin, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, Miracle Eye Contour Anti-Wrinkle Cream. So my eyes are my weakness right around here. It's been bothering me since I was like born basically because I have very thin skin. So this stuff isn't necessarily good for bags under your eyes if that's your issue, but it's good for sort of um, wrinkles or like crepiness, if you will. Uh, I've noticed a really big difference. I'll put it on once or twice a day, very little, just right here and here. I went on their website and they were sold out and I put a little notification that said to notify me when they were back in stock and they did and as a result I bought it and I'm really happy that I did. So again expensive but worth it in my opinion. This stuff is SkinCeuticals. Um, it's a retinol product and it's 0.5 which I believe is a um, relatively low dosage. Again not an expert so I'm not sure. Retin this is my first time using retinol. Um, I know some people swear by retinol products. Other people are too afraid to use them. I know it makes your skin very sensitive to the sun. So um, I don't really own the sun anymore. And if I do, I use lots of sunblock. So I do really like this stuff, but I definitely don't use it nightly. With all the products that I've recommended, you really need to be careful not to combine things that shouldn't be combined. So like the retinol, for example, isn't gonna go with the next product that I'm gonna show you. And so just making sure that you're not overdoing it with all these different chemical agents is really important. Making sure that if you're going to use one product, space them out a couple of days so that you're not getting these weird interactions. Um, and this is a night cream specifically. And again, this is one that I see a difference in just my skin surface the next day. Um, okay. Last but not least, this is a, my newest product. Um, it is P50. Um, it's called Lotion P50 1970. It's a balancing exfoliator. This was recommended by my friend Liana. Um, I saw her skin and I was like, girl, you look good. What's going on? And then she told me and then I bought it. And you just put it on a cotton ball and put it all around your face. I don't usually put anything on afterwards, so I typically do it at the end of the day. You will physically feel a difference from this stuff. Um, with that being said, it says specifically, do not use retinoic acid treatment with products or anything that has alpha hydroxy acid. So clearly when you're using this stuff, you don't wanna also be messing around with other stuff. Um, so yeah, that's the roundup of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of my favorite products for 2019. Um, never thought my skincare regimen would be like this. I'm totally the girl that likes to go to bed without um, washing her face, but you turn 30 and changes. Um, for real though. I'm gonna link these products below in case you are interested in checking any of them out. Like I said, only the best of what's worked, not all the rest of the garbage that I've tried. <laughs> Have a great one. Thanks for joining me, guys. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.